Hey folks, Daily Lance Blog here, and uh, there's dialogue that takes place. I talk on this thing, I talk on Twitter, and people correspond, and it gives me an idea of what you're thinking and whether the things that I'm saying um, make sense to you. Because this this is just this is just me. I, I didn't go to medical school. I know that's a big shock to you. I didn't go to medical school. Uh, medical schools they were recruiting me. And when they saw my 43 average at University of Toronto, we kind of both agreed that I wouldn't go there. But uh, all I have really to draw on is the experience that I have lived. And the lived experience, I think, gives all of us who've had a, an expertise. And um, one of the things that we've been discussing is the relationship between the caregiver and, and the person that's suffering. I'm suffering. You're the caregiver. What can I do to let you know what my struggle is, what I need from you, and what can you do for me? And uh, as we've established, the first and foremost, most important thing is for you to understand that you will never understand what's going on in my head. And once you accept that, it makes a big difference. But um, a, a lot of people will come in with the, you know, what can I do to cheer you up or cheer yourself up? And there was a tweet that someone said, you know, it really bugs me when people say, uh, you know, do something to cheer yourself up. And I said... Uh, Essentially, um, my point was, uh, how, the question was, how do I handle someone when they say, cheer yourself up? How do I get them to see it's not that easy? And I said, cheer yourself up is about as smart and sensitive as cure your own tumor. Now, someone responded with, sadness is real with practical remedies. A tumor is fatal. And while I appreciate the thought, I, I don't think that's correct. First of all, we know that depression can be fatal. We know that we hear about that all the time, repeatedly. And also depression is not really sadness. Um, for some, sadness can be a symptom. But for me, it never was. It's not a matter of being sad. It's, it's, uh, it's an alternative state that is not happy, not sad. As a matter of fact, my level of, of, of sadness really isn't relevant at all. Uh, I want to talk more about that, but I mentioned um, how depression can be fatal. And we've heard that. Um, there was another suicide in the, in the Woodstock area, somewhere between... Um, I think it was Aylmer, Ontario, um, in that area. And, you know, the breadth of that tragedy just hits all of us. And then there's Sarnia. Um, people in Sarnia have reached out to us. And what I want to know uh, is what kind of thing could we do in your community that would really make an event? Who would you like to hear from? What would really make a difference? I want to know. Let us know. Uh, at Hey Landsberg, at Sick Not Week. Michael.Landsberg at SickNotWeek.com on Facebook, SickNotWeek. Uh, let us know what you, th what you think we should do, uh, because the best way to um, find out is just to ask. SickNotWeek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year.